What's up, y'all? Um, this is not your typical blog that I would normally do. Intros, music, the whole rollout and all that shit. I mean, if you end up seeing a few edits along the way, y'all know me. I'm, I might surprise myself and end up doing a few at some point. It just depends on what I say and what I think might be funny if it's time to be funny. Um, let me start here and just say this. If you hit play on this blog, expecting to hear me reference bullshit or deep dive into some bullshit, you might as well turn that shit off now, because <laughs> I'm not. I'm not here for that, bro. Um, uh, the opportunity to talk to niggas has kind of passed, and I'm, I'm off that. My team is off that. Um, if you know, you know. Salute to them brothers, man. Whatever they got going on, I wish them the best. I hope um, whatever they looking to achieve, and I hope they achieve it. You know what I mean? Um, regardless of whatever is happening, I still believe that they provide an uh, excellent source of content over there. And just because I, I am who I am and I'm going to continue to be me regardless of whatever is going on, Anything I think is positive for the culture, I, I, I encourage y'all to continue to support that. Don't just go off of, well, I fuck with Fat Boy. Nah, my nigga, don't be like that. It's, it's some solid content over there. Go support that shit. Go, you know, and inspire them brothers and be a part of what they doing over there. You know what I mean? But as far as me and my team, we're not looking to address or be involved in any dumb shit. So we off that, so. I hope that was enough for whoever came here looking for something negative. I don't got nothing, bro. I'm super off it and over it. It is what it is. My energy is elsewhere just because of the things I saw yesterday and what's been going on lately. And it's really it's really sick. So I'm going I'm to start with Battle Truth first. Um, it's kind of strange that things played out the way they played out. I know people say, oh, one thing about them tables, when them motherfuckers turn, woo, I know, I know people say that all the time and they talk about karma and all this shit, but it is strange how it literally was a whole crew of people just looking to bash this one guy, and now that whole crew has kind of just like scattered apart and the focus is on the ringleader of that crew ain't that crazy how that shit just that's wild it's like all those people that scatter and kind of left battle truth hanging to defend for himself right where's their energy at that they had with him when he was doing all this fucking police work on one person where's their energy at for this shit now why they not still pursuing the shit that they was trying to make the biggest thing in battle rap? Wonder what happened to that energy. Whatever, bro. One thing that's not being said about Battle Truth that I want to say. Um, there's something there that nobody's really alluding to. And I, I think it's something there, if you ask me. God bless the dead. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not disrespectful, even though Battle Troop probably got that shit coming from somebody or somewhere. It just won't be me. Um, God bless the dead. He did speak on his brother who had um, a mental illness and he lost his life in some in some light, maybe because of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Battle Troop also spoke on... Um, his cousin being involved with his baby moms and he alluded to the fact that his cousin had some mental illness. He was a little, you know, and I think it, I mean, it kind of goes without saying if you ask me, but I think people not connecting the dots I think Battle Truth also suffer from some type of mental illness. Now, if you know Battle Truth, you have seen him do any blogs of any kind. He think he the smartest 
motherfucker in the room. He think he is the most brilliant and brightest talent in all of battle rap, and he think that he run the game, and he this and that. He the most talked about, the most viewed, the most this, the most... He believe all that shit. Whatever he gas himself up to be, he believe that shit. And you'll call it, uh, the motherfucker is in denial, or he crazy, or you call it whatever you want. I think, much like some of his family members, Battle Truth also suffer from some type of mental illness, and the motherfucker need help. And I, like I said, I think some of that just already kind of go without saying. When you, when you not connecting the dots in your mind, and not understanding why people are saying the things they're saying about you. And your only action is to try to justify it. Much like was said before me, he thought that shit was hilarious at first. Well, I'm just going to skate right through this and I'm going to be fine. Hmm. Or he thought that shit. He did. He was. He was laughing like a motherfucker at first. It was all funny. Now this nigga is logging his life away trying to make corrections and then he tried to fucking talk battle rap like yeah I ain't gonna worry about it I'm gonna get back to some battle rap nah you need to talk now nigga you had a lot to talk about at first you might as well keep talking um nigga trying to justify it by saying this is what was going on back then bruh it's going on now, you talking about back then, it was wrong then, it's wrong now, I don't, <laughs> something has to be wrong with you for him to try to make the community believe that because it was happening back then and that's just what older guys was doing with younger girls, <laughs> you you think that that make it okay now? Like, oh, this happened so many years ago. What does that mean? You still, as an adult, had sex with a child. What part of that you not getting? To make it worse, eight years later, you did the same thing. You did the same thing in a, in a much nastier way. Bruh. Uh, it's sick, bro. It's fucking sick. Um, he keeps saying shit like, "Well, you know, these girls was, they was out here hustling and they was scamming old, older men, and the young girls wanted to be with older men." Yeah, but they wasn't supposed to be with older men. They didn't have no business being. Well, older men, you keep talking about what well, they was lying and they had fake IDs and they this and that. And I don't know. So I'm listen. I'm not. A, I'm not Chris Hansen. I'm not CNBC. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I, I, some of that shit. Just hearing him say, I just be thinking to myself, you know, maybe some shit did slip through the cracks, and you would just be amazed to understand how some things went by, and he never got caught or called out on it or whatever. And I understand his family members are saying something now. Yeah, maybe they was trying to address it back then, but they saying something now. It's like, I, I'm baffled at this one thing. And I don't know if nobody else thought this, but like, how does a young lady walk into a hospital at 16 years old or whatever age she was at the time she gave birth to his first son or whatever and not ask this girl how old she is or not realize how old she is and not on the birth certificate realize how old Battle Troop actually is? I'm sorry, Gerard. How? How does nobody connect them dots? Like I'm just some of the, just I'm just I'm just throwing some stuff out there that I was thinking along the way. It don't make sense. And so why this is just I, I I really didn't have no intentions of blogging on nothing about Battle Truth because it was like and that nigga made his own grave. Just let him keep digging himself in it until he lay down in it or whatever. He's assaulted many a motherfuckers over the years in this community. He, he had this coming at some point. Um. But this shit with QP, man. Jesus Christ. I pull up the caps lock. Shout out to Caps. Because Caps, you've been fucking... You've been killing it this year, my nigga. I'm not going to lie. You have been killing it. Thank you for always shouting me out. I appreciate you. I know that I don't be blogging as much as I used to. And I probably should. 
I, just, I don't find myself motivated to talk a lot about nothing in this culture unless I talk with my friends on the podcast. That's it. I really don't be motivated to talk about a lot of shit no more because this, this shit be crazy. I don't know. I might address this NWX shit that's going on. You know what I'm saying? But right now, let me talk about this. Um, I went on Caps Live to, just to tune in. I, you know, whenever I can catch Caps going live, it's always interesting to some degree, even if it's just for jokes and shit. Um, but today, uh, I'm not I'm not in touch with the whole QP Tay Rock thing. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I ain't been following it. My mind ain't been on It just ain't been on that shit, bro. Like, my mind's, like, off battle rap, right? I just been focusing on, I've been thinking, I've been watching clickbait, fucking squid game. I've been on all my, The Wire. I've been on a bunch of shit, bro. I'm coming back from vacation a couple weeks ago. Like, I've been on my other shit. Um, QP... I guess is being accused of sleeping with an underage girl. And I wasn't expecting him to jump on the live. I had no idea. And then Cap said, oh, here you go. You know, keep somebody tag QP. He pulls up to the live. Okay. This nigga starts explaining the situation as if it's A-OK. And maybe legally, legally it is. But just morally, in your clear conscience... QP, when you you 36, how? I mean, I can't even ask that because it's the same nigga that sniffed coke and just, he his lifestyle is wild. The shit this nigga do is fucking crazy, bro. It's crazy. So I'm not shocked that this is coming from this nigga. I'm really not. But. This girl is 18. She just turned 18. Now, let me run by some key points that this nigga tried to make. He said himself, I did not meet this girl when she was 16. I didn't meet her when she was 17. I didn't know nothing about her, and I didn't meet her until she was 18. And in the same breath, same breath, he says she is 18 and four months. and four months. Gotcha. Copy, copy, cool. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that was supposed to mean. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find my light out and fucking put it on it. I don't know what that was supposed to mean, bro, but it's just... That ain't it, QP. That ain't it, bro. You can say whatever you want. As far as I'm concerned, that's still a baby, bro. That's a child. My daughter is 16. If she brought 17 and 18 year old friends in my house, they still, I got little girls at my house. Children. These are children. At 18 years old, you don't know about life. You don't know about filling out forms, important information. You could bet, at 18, you probably could barely keep track of where you're fucking. Social security card and your birth certificate is that. You don't even know. Your parents still hold on to that shit for you. You don't know shit about life. You haven't lived through shit. And you're not making good decisions at 18. Why am I saying that? You think at 18 years old it's wise to be with a motherfucker that sniff coke and pimp women? You think that sounds like a rational decision of somebody that's got all they fucking wits about them and understand what's going on? Like, they, I mean, listen, all due respect, he said the girl mom's passed and she going through some shit. She really needs some somebody to watch her and have her back and be there for her while she try to figure out life. She still need a, another year of school, if I'm not mistaken, according to QP, to finish up her, her high school education. And this girl got a baby in her of four weeks, this nigga said. So you out here getting girls that's going through shit in their life pregnant and bringing them on board. Then the nigga is bragging on the live saying, oh, yeah, I have all the bitches out on the floor fucking each other and doing whatever. They all watching porn and doing what's on the screen. You think that's the lifestyle of a fucking 18-year-old girl? 
You think that's what she should be doing right now. You think that's in her best interest. And then the nigga continues to by saying, well, you know, I'm homeschooling her myself. Nigga, you don't. You are a pimping battle rapper. You think your education and what you got going on in your life is what's best for her. All that. Do that sound like a place for an 18-year-old? When my daughter turned 18, I'm pretty sure she'll still be living at my home. She's not ready to be out in the world yet. She don't have no life experience. To an 18-year-old or a 16-year-old, whatever the age, you're still a child. Sex is just sex. You don't understand all the things that come with that, uh, that situation. Pregnancy, STDs, all types of shit comes with that, bro. And you having a baby by a nigga that at any moment could be arrested for the shit that he did. And then the nigga cracking jokes like, uh, what's the R. Kelly shit? Surviving R. Surviving QP. That's what this nigga keeps saying. QP, you a nasty nigga, bro. That shit ain't cool. That's a fucking kid, bro. That's a kid. Now, I don't give a fuck how much you try to, oh, she's over 18. Yeah, legally, my nigga, you might be just right. But morally, just looking at it, that's some... It's fucking disgusting. You know what's funny is... I spoke about all these bloggers attacking this one guy. And I hate to bring his name up, so I really don't want to say his name. I don't want to traffic that type of energy here just because of that. Because it's really not about him. Right? But one thing I want to say is I never spoke on this man his situation and none of that shit and I, I because I don't and I said this before I don't know nothing I, like what's strange about all these other bloggers and all these people sticking together trying to frame frame whatever they can on this man and say whatever they think is true and just put body after body and name after name after name on this person repeatedly and just try to convince all these people in the community that what they saying is true and because they believe a thing that that's just going to make it fact the more times they say it, they're going to make it fact. And they brainwashing and conditioning people to believe that it's fact. Without any visual proof. No proof whatsoever. Y'all got no facts. Even if you think you caught him in a lie or he said something inconsistently in your opinion or whatever the case may be. It don't make none of what you sitting there thinking fact. I'm not the type of nigga to turn my camera on and just sit there and say what I think about a motherfucker and try to make it like real like it make, it's a real thing because I said it's real that's what the fuck are y'all doing and it's like all these niggas just you can see they all just gang together they all best of fucking friends y'all niggas not here for battle rap culture y'all niggas not here to make this culture better y'all only here to cause hell and raise hell and it's sickening for a motherfucker to sit there to feel like they doing the Lord's work. Yeah, we getting rid of this motherfucker. We, we doing the Lord's work. We doing... Motherfuckers is calling district attorneys and shit and doing the... Y'all niggas is out of pocket. And niggas got all this energy with no nothing to back up everything. That's, it's just this culture, bruh. And I just was telling my man, I said, bruh, I, said, I didn't want... I ain't want to see it, bruh. I didn't want to see that this culture was just full of clowns and dumb shit and ignorance and stupidity and niggas that just, niggas really just here to bring each other down, tear each other apart, and make the worst of the worst out of everybody around them the first chance they get. They not focused on battle rap and really just being here for the culture. They just want to create negativity and feed off of it. And what's sad is... Battle Truth, meanwhile, making money off all the shit that he is doing. The people around him ain't benefiting from this shit. They helping him get paid off of his bullshit. And I've been saying, any blog I've ever done about Battle Truth, and I, it might only be like two or three, right? Any blog I ever did about this nigga, I said the same thing. Battle Truth, just an old nigga who think he the smartest nigga in the room. He really just an old, stupid nigga. He not that fucking bright. He think he's so fucking intelligent and smart. And he one of them niggas you can look right at him and tell and just listen to him talk. He a nigga who just lie a lot and say a lot of fabricated ass shit that's not true. And 
he don't be backing up the shit he be saying. He just say a lot of shit. And it just be strange to me how people will just feed into this shit day after day after day after day. And they just think, you know, the world of this nigga. And I get that some people like, you know, battle rap culture or whatever they watch him for, it's an escape to a, to a degree where they get to just tune out of the real world and just lock in on some bullshit with battle truth. But you'll see people in the comments saying shit like, yo, um, battle truth, you know, we praying for you, brother, and this and that. And it's like, I start realizing, like, these people need help. These niggas not even looking at what you have done, battle truth, that's illegal as fuck. And they still feel like, I need to pray for battle truth, and I need to, you know, I'm going to still support this brother. But when he was bashing the other guy, when he was going to, he was making a million blogs, fucking 10 part series and shit, right? Y'all was supporting that shit, and it was bring that nigga down, bring him down. Y'all was championing, y'all was rooting for it. You wanted it. You wanted the carnage. You wanted the bullshit. Now that it's him, it's, we got to pray for him. When he was doing this shit, he accused another motherfucker of doing This the culture we in? These the people around us that's... And I know it seemed minuscule, but I'm going to say it anyway. These, these the people that's <laughs> voting on battles and in the caffeine. and They debating with you, telling you who won and lost the battle. And then when it comes to battle truth, it's pray for battle truth, man. One thing Battle Truth don't realize, and I'm gonna wrap this shit up on this note. One thing he don't realize is this. Right now, because he in hot water, people gonna keep tuning in. They're gonna keep listening to see how much more talking he do and how much of more of a hole he dig himself in and who else he gonna blame for his circumstances and blame his son and blame this person and blame it on this is what people was doing. He gonna blame it on everything but him. But this is what he don't realize. When people stop giving a fuck, because if you, if you know this culture, you know the fact that after a while, people stop caring about shit, certain shit. It just stopped being the, the main thing. That prep situation lasted, what, three days, two, three days? People don't care no more. When they stop caring about this, and they stop giving a fuck what Battle Truth was going through, and they stop caring what his explanation is of the shit he did, the views will go down. He happy as fuck right now. All I'm getting, all these thousands of views. Y'all getting me paid. Ha, ha. He bragging like a motherfucker. But when people stop caring, them views, them views gonna go down, 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 down. You see what his energy like then? He not gonna go away. Cause this, this is source of income. This how he make his money. So, this just was some real talk, man. I just was here to chop it up with y'all niggas and just, um, just kind of vent a little bit and say some of the things that was on my mind. I know this not, like I said, this not the typical blog y'all get from me, the type of energy I be on, but I just figured I'd turn the camera on to talk with y'all for a few minutes. So, hopefully somebody got something out of this. Um, I hate to sound uh, typical. But, bruh, if you somewhere right now and you a young man dealing with a girl that's 17, 18, 19, eh, it's probably going to break our heart, bruh. Yo, stop what you doing, bro. Stop what the fuck you doing, my nigga. That's a baby. That's a child. Give these young ladies a chance to grow up and be who they need to be, bruh. If they leave you and go be with another older nigga, then shame on that nigga. Get that shit off of you, bro. Do, do the right fucking thing. Let these children grow up and become women. I'm out, bruh.